Hey y'all, welcome back uh, to another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about maintaining that internet connection through a uh, power outage, for instance, a blackout. Let's get started. So blackouts can cause, really disrupt your productivity. Uh, <laughs> especially when you don't know how long that blackout is. You could just sit there on your laptop and wait for the power to come back on, or you just get up and do something else, whatever. It, it can hurt productivity. Not that I'm advocating spending any more time on the internet uh, and not enjoying snow and other things that cause blackouts, but um, uh, how, how can we, how can we continue or maintain an internet connection through a blackout? Well, this is predicated on the, the uh, idea that your internet provider um, maintains the internet connection to your house. So that line that comes in from your house, what, or, or maybe it's a dish on the top of your house, uh, are you still going to get internet uh, across that line or to that dish? Are you still going to get? And that's a question for your provider. You're going to have to ask them to see if they maintain that through a blackout. Um, I've talked to providers before and they've said yes, they maintain the internet connection for a certain period of time. I believe it's because they maybe their equipment is on uh, critical, maybe their maybe their um, uh, network equipment that that uh, takes your signal from your house is on a critical circuit which does not go down or it's on a battery backup I don't know but you'll just want to ask them to to see so assuming that we are getting internet to the house all then we need to do is maintain the equipment in the house and so what equipment am I talking about well I'm talking about that little little box in the top of your closet or somewhere behind the couch I don't know that has little blinking lights on it, right? So that's that's the modem or router. Um, sometimes you'll have two pieces of equipment, a modem and a router. Uh, at any rate, those or that is the equipment that we need to um, keep power to. And if so, then the whole system is complete. That's all you need. It'll send out a Wi-Fi signal and you can connect to it with your phone or laptop. So here we are on Amazon and I searched for UPS or uninterruptible power supply. You kind of be, have to be a little bit more specific than just UPS. And you'll see a lot of different options. So uh, here we have one of the most common uh, and it puts out what looks like uh, 600 volt amps. I believe they're talking about watts. Um, this one I would not recommend necessarily. Well, for your for your equipment, it, it will probably do fine if you're just trying to run your router and your modem. But if you want to guarantee that nothing ever goes down, then you want to get something a little bit bigger. The problem with any of these, and they might specify them, they don't really specify them, but they're sealed lead acid. They use sealed lead acid battery chemistry and the problem with those is that they die within with they die within you know six months or less and so you'll be left with a box that's just beeping and does not maintain power so i found this other option here and it's significantly less power storage but it's lithium ion and this this will last. It will not go out within six months. It will last a far greater amount of time. The like I said, the power storage is significantly less. This this one right here has 98 watt hours. So that means that you can put out 98 watts for one hour. And I'm sure that has varied. Uh, that has varied results because they're they're overselling a little bit, and so you can you can expect maybe yeah, let's just say half of that. So the typical modem router or just just simply the router will consume six uh, watts, maybe eight watts if you have a really beefy one, and so if you take fifty divided by eight, for instance, that's four hours of usage. So that would be plenty 
if you're trying to run your router and that'll get you through most outages of course if you're talking about you know 24 36 hours then you need something else and that's where the bigger ones would come in so cost wise you're talking about 60 let's just say um, you know seventy dollars for this uh, for this lithium-ion unit and you're looking up here at way more storage uh, but I'm telling you, this lithium ion will last, will far outlast. So it, it'd be better, I would think, to get two of these than, um, and now I'm not just talking about battery life, uh, two of these and at the cost of $140 uh, than one of these up here, which will last you six months and will probably die before the next power outage. And uh, and so, but I will say these, of course, the the capacity, the ability to run it for far longer uh, time, as far as actually running the appliances in the case of a blackout, uh, there's no comparison. So, uh, but that anyway. So that's my uh, that's my two cents. Thanks for watching, guys. Just as a recap, uh, if you want, if you if you need internet through a blackout. There is the chance that you can maintain an internet connection, but be sure to call your service provider first. Uh, and if you if they do provide internet through an outage, then be sure to get a UPS for your network equipment. Again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.